they're, they're not trying to, uh, uh, you know, they, they've got something a little bit different for each week. So the, the things that that, uh, that you see on film isn't what you usually get from uh, from them. And uh, uh, so we're, we'll we'll just have to be ready for what uh, whatever they throw out there to us. What do you need to see from your defense these last four five games? You just always want to go into a season with a with a unit that that will get better. You know, whatever whatever you did that first ball game is is irrelevant. You know, you, you want to get better from week one to two to three, and just keep climbing the stairs and keep uh, you know uh, that that motivates you. You know, when when you can see some success and, and see some things that you're getting better at, it uh, uh, just it just goes a long way towards helping you in practice and and helping you uh, be confident in in, uh, in ball games. So, I think uh, you know. Whether whether you, you you're putting in new packages or or playing the same ones, you, you just want to see improvement. And the, the, when the kids feel you know, when they feel that improvement, um, they're motivated and they get they get better you know during during the ball game and more confident. Can you drop some names on us of guys who maybe haven't emerged in the last couple of weeks? My goodness, it's, it's just so many guys that have improved since. Uh, you know, since we started, I, you know, we, we could be here all night. Um, uh, I think uh, you know, I, I look at a lot of the young guys uh, that that were, were very raw, that, that have uh, an awful lot of talent. Uh, uh, so maybe maybe let me start there. You know, up front, uh, uh, you got uh, you know, Jacob Tuyoti is is a guy that that uh, you know when I saw him in high school, I, I just knew that, that, that we needed to have him. And he's grown over the course of the season, and, and maybe his, his uh, reps and, and ball games haven't reflected just how much improvement he has made. But uh, I'm really excited about uh, about what he's done for us. And Kamari Copeland is uh, is another one that that uh, uh, you know still still working on on refining his, his footwork and and uh, uh, the fundamentals of the game. But but you can see him getting better you know, every week. Uh, you know, Trey Sophia is another one that that uh, that. I, that you can just see the quickness, the speed, and athleticism out of him, and and uh, uh, you know still still got some some things we got to get better at, but just uh, you know every week I just just love love the, the potential that those guys show, um, you know, and, and uh, I, man, I, I can go on forever just uh, just with guys. Uh, Brett Jarena has uh, has made improvement. Uh, you know, we, we we put him in some packages just to, to to get him on the field a little bit, and. and you know, generally he does uh, does good things for us when he gets out there. Um, you can see his fits in in, uh, in practice, where he's you know he's getting a little bit more confident in, in what he's doing and, and more consistent. And uh, you know, Andy Thomas is a, is another linebacker that, that has stepped up and, and shown me some good things. You know this uh, this year. Are they consistent enough yet? You know for us to to uh, uh, to maybe you know. Win ball games, big ball games. Yet, yeah, yeah, I'm not quite sure on that. We keep we keep looking every week and, and make our evaluations. But uh, but I like I like where they're heading. Um, you know, in the secondary, you got you got guys that that, uh, that, that are getting it done. Uh, you know, at, at safety, at corner, and uh, and Apache. You know, just we're we're excited about the potential that we have on on, on our defense here. Uh, in fact, just ask about the local kid, uh, Rafferty. Uh, how's he coming along? Outstanding. Just, uh, you know, he does a lot of pass rush work with with uh, Andre Carter, and, and uh, uh, they're, they're two entirely different type of athletes. But uh, but but both of them are, are you know, when I'm, when I'm working with those guys, you, you, you can just see that the uh, the success that that, uh, that Tyler's going to have, you know, when it uh, when it's his time, you know, to step on the field. Uh, he's got some some good quickness for for a big guy, and uh, an athletic, and, and, and has uh, you know, a little bit of a natural uh, uh, understanding of how to drop in coverage as well. So, uh, yeah. really really um, excited about it. Sure, uh, is Kenny back in the room to ask? Yeah, or? go ahead, Ken. Hey, coach, good to see you, Ken Kreitzer, Cam Vets Media. Uh, what was your takeaway from Saturday? Your defense held Air Force to thirteen points. Looked pretty. Pretty uh, consistent. Uh, what what did you see? What were the, some of the positives in the game? I think going into the ball game, you always worry about uh, you know, how you measure up in, in a uh, 
uh, against an offense that, that has so much potential. Uh, you know, Air Force, you know, downhill with the with the uh, the, the fullback and and uh, you know attacking on, on on the perimeter with the quarterback and, and the the pitch back uh, along with the, the play action pass. You know, coming coming off the uh, off the wings. That's that's a lot for uh, for guys to, to cover. And uh, uh, we thought this. We thought we gave ourselves a a, a chance, and yet. We could have done better, you know. We left some some things out there on the field that, that we could have fit better from a, a run standpoint, uh, lining up against uh, you know some of the formations that that, uh, uh, that they came out in. We you know we didn't we didn't quite get everything right, uh, and yet we still you know we fought, you know we scratched, we called, we uh, you know we, we we did everything we could to uh, to get to get them off the field, and. Uh, I was I was proud of of, uh, of the effort of our guys. I thought uh, there, there was no give up in, in any of those guys, and, and I thought uh, I thought they did much better, you know, in that ball game than than uh, than maybe where we started at the beginning of the season. I thought we made improvement. How did you feel Andre Carter did after being out for a couple of games, being back out on the field? I think that was really hard for him to come back and, and play in that type of ball game right off the bat, and yet uh, you know all the way you know in, in the, in the uh, last quarter, you, you see him making plays, big plays for us. So it was it was great to get him back out there. Um, you know, it's maybe some of the conditioning part of it was uh, was a little bit difficult for him because of uh, the missed time and, and missed practice. But uh, you know, there, there was never a day that that, uh, that he wasn't trying to get back on the field. You know, he was, he was desperate to, to get out there, and, and uh, uh, you know, I thought uh, thought he did a really good job. Uh, uh, you know, after missing so much time you know, from practice. Markel Broughton took a pretty hard hit in the game, uh, went out. Uh, what, what's his status at this point? Yeah, he's just going through that, uh, that protocol that you got to go through for, okay. uh, for, uh, uh, before you can get him back. So, you know, we don't know right now if, uh, if he'll play, and, and we won't know until, uh, until later in the week. But, uh, but you know, each day that I talk to him, he feels fine. And, uh, and that's yeah. great news. But uh, it's... Uh, you know, this defense really, really depends an awful lot on him. His leadership is is, uh, is something special. The guys, uh, the guys look up to him as uh, you know, as, as they should, as he is their, their captain. But uh, they just love the juice that, that he gives, the energy that that, uh, uh, that he gives to our to our team. So much leadership on the field. And looking at Troy, uh, they like to pass the ball. Uh, Two hundred eighty-three yards a game passing. Their quarterback Hunter Watson. Uh, was 147 for 232, uh, 246 a game. Pretty strong passing team. What, what what do they look like to you? I think they're very capable of throwing the football against anybody they play against. Um, they got an awful lot of speed and athleticism at the receiver position, and uh, I think uh, I think a year ago we played against uh, Liberty, and uh, I thought Liberty's receivers, you know, all were, were very athletic, fast, quick guys, shifty. That uh, they can get down the field, but I don't. Yeah, I, I think these receivers are, are every bit as athletic and quick and fast, but uh, but you know have a little bit better uh, uh, ball skills, and and uh, and the quarterbacks delivering the ball have have an awful lot of experience. So uh, you know, lining up and, and playing against a, a team that, that throws the ball a lot, well, you can do a lot of different things to help yourself. And yet, if a team can run the football as well, now that keep that, you know that takes some things away from you that, that uh, and, you know, some sure. of the uh, you know some of the things that you would like to do if you know 100% it's going to be passed. But uh, uh, Troy does a good job of, of throwing in enough runs in there to where they keep you honest, and uh, that'll be a that'll be a tough ball game. Really, really, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to it, and, and the guys are too. Um, but it, it, it'll be a heck of a challenge. Great. Hey, uh, thanks, Coach. That's great. You all set, Ken? Uh, just one more. Uh, if Markwell can't play, how do you make up for him? What do you uh, do you have?